Nature and the environment we live in provides us with much inspiration for the woodworking that we do. And this is particularly true when it comes to bird themed projects that we've made. Here are a few images of red kites that have graced the grounds here at our family workshop with their presence. In this video, we are sharing with you some of our favorite bird themed projects that we've made. Our first one takes inspiration from the robin and one of the key components of this project is using different colored wood in order to get extra interest and contrast in the project that we're making. We stack cut four different colored pieces of wood together and proceed to cut out this design on the scroll saw. These pieces of wood will need to be stuck onto a backing board that will then have a base in front of it. So we also proceed to make and refine the backing board and the base that will be used for this project. It can be cut out on the bandsaw and refined on the belt sander using the side attachment to take off any teeth marks and the main belt just to smooth everything everything off in preparation for sticking the project together. We make use of our Starbond CA glue to stick the different parts of the bird design into position. We then wait for it to dry and then use the various hand carving tools to shape our Robin themed projects. Now that we have dealt with the backing board and the Robin design, we turn our attention to making the base. So we've marked out the shape that we want. We use the hand drill and a cutter to cut out a recess into the base. The bandsaw comes in useful once more to cut around the outline of that base. The teeth marks are removed by using that side attachment on the belt sander before using the main belt itself to refine the finish. As much as we can, we sand in the direction of the grain. From here, the backing board and robin design that we have prepared are stuck to the base using that CA glue. We use shellac sanding sealer, applying it in the direction of the grain to bring out the beautiful contrast, interest and color to our robin design. You can make all sorts of different birds using this same technique. Now onto our second project. And this is one that we've demonstrated a few times before. And one of my favorite ones to make, and that is a bird themed ornament. It uses swans as the main focal point and takes inspiration from the idea that swans partner for life. So once more, we prepare all of the different parts of the design, including the head and neck, the wings, the main body, the base, and a little heart as an extra addition. When it comes to cutting out, we use the different saws that are available, including the bandsaw and the scroll saw. Bandsaw certainly comes in useful for shaping the body. The scroll saw comes in useful for cutting out the base, the wings, the heart, and the heads. By stack cutting several layers together, this allows us to be able to cut out more than one wing at a time. The bandsaw saw leaves teeth marks where it's cut out and these can be refined and removed by using the belt sander. Hand carving skills come in useful for this project so we can add a little bit of detail to the wings of our swan. We can also refine and add a little bit of extra detail to the neck and head of the swan. This can further be refined on the belt sander removing any paper and shaping and then from here we can add a little bit more detail and interest by using our black Starbond CA glue and the accelerant. Once more, that Starbond CA glue comes in useful for sticking the entire ornament together. That shellac sanding sealer is our finish of choice bringing out the beautiful color of the mahogany that we've made our swan's ornament in. Onto our third project, and in this one, we are making a simple owl-themed hanging decoration. We're always looking to work efficiently, so we prepared several pieces of mahogany, allowing us to cut more than one out at the same time. We use our CA glue to stack these layers together, making sure that no time is wasted when it 
comes to the projects that we make. The pillar drill is ideal for drilling a hole in the top of this decoration and also drilling the pilot holes for the pierce work. The belt sander allows us to get the project nice and flat on the back. And then that scroll saw allows us to feed the blade into that pierce work hole and cut that shape of the owl and inside the surround. By using the scroll saw to prepare these projects, it gives us the best quality finish for then going on to adding the detail afterwards using the hand carving tools. Once our surround has been cut on the scroll saw, our attention turns to adding the details to the design. So we do all of those stop cuts down into the woods and then use them to cut into and add different levels and layers to our owl design. Because I sit to carve, we do all of the carving in the one direction first of all before turning it around in the vise and carving everything back in the opposite direction. The belt sander comes in useful once more, taking off any paper that remains and refining the finish before that shellac sanding sealer brings up the colour and character in our owl themed hanging decoration projects. Moving on to our next design and we take inspiration from a garden bird and once more we can make more than one of these at any given time. In this example we are cutting out three at the same time using that pillar drill to do the pilot holes ready for the pierce work to be done on the scroll saw. In years gone by of course we used to use the coping saw to do this job but the scroll saw for projects like these is quite quick, efficient and leaves us with a high quality finish and the best possible results. My preferred approach to doing the scroll saw work is to do all of the pierce work on the project first of all before cutting out the surround of everything else that we need for this project. The hand carving tools allow us to add extra detail, interest and character to our bird design. It also allows us to round off that shape to give it a more bird-like appearance and making it seem a little bit more realistic. Those hand tools are ideal for adding extra detail and interest to the project before we turn our attention to the base and then sticking everything together. We get a flat edge on our base using the belt sander. We use our Starbond CA glue and the accelerant to stick the back with the bird design to the base and then just a little piece on the front that will hold the candle in position. We add that shellac to bring out the interest in the woods and completing our bird themed projects. Our final project is a bird themed toy. Now, a rarity for ourselves because we're actually working in softwood. As many of you will know, we predominantly work in hardwood, but for this toy, we chose to use a piece of softwood because it was suitable for the job. We cut out the basic outline on the scroll saw before cutting out a recess in the middle of the body that will be used used to attach the wings. This can all be cut out on the scroll saw before using the belt sander to round off our bird design. We can continue shaping and rounding off the design by using the hand tools. With this toy design, we are going for a more three-dimensional feel, so there is more time spent carving everything out and refining the shape of our birds. Can add a little bit of detail to the tail feathers, the beak and the eyes are put in place to using the different wood carving chisels and gouges. Our attention then goes across to the wings, which can be cut out the basic profile on our scroll saw. These are then refined further on the belt sander before we create some dowel by forcing a piece of wood through a metal eye using a hammer. The dowel is then positioned and glued in place to hold those wings in the position that we want them. We use our tenon saw to cut the extra dowel that is left over before refining the finish on our bird themed toy. Those are a few different bird themed projects. 
let us know in the comment section which one of those is your favorite. If you are interested in wood carving, woodworking, or scroll sawing, check out the other videos on our channel. There's loads of information to help point you in the right direction. Thank you all again for watching, and as always, we will be back again soon with more videos.